Are you experiencing any difficult situation? Do you have a problem? Do you want God to see you through in all you are doing? Keep this under your pillow for three nights and wake up to shocking results. You are welcome to our channel. On this channel, we seek solutions to our problems. We pray to God. We reach out to God. And the Lord will bless you abundantly. Try to subscribe if you have not. And turn on the bell. Whenever you see notification, you come and watch and receive your blessing. At least learn something. That thing you have learned will change you. Do you always lack money? Do you always lack money or find it so difficult to save? Do you always feel that you are broke? You don't progress in all you do. There are times you don't progress. You try your best. You do this thing. You see others doing that thing and yet your own is not working. You try to imitate others. You try to do it the way they are doing it. It seems as if your own is a different case. That is bad luck. It is bad luck. There are some people, this money comes to them, but they cannot even gather that money. If money always comes to you and you cannot gather that money, or you cannot account for that money, that is a problem. It is a problem. So the first thing you need to write down about your life. Do you even get money? That's one. Secondly, are you able to gather and use that little money you get well, wisely? Is there always a sudden problem coming to you to claim that money you have? That is a problem. The devil is a liar. You are going to remove that from your life today. When you always have money, one sickness will just come. Either your sister, your wife, your husband, even you yourself. And you will start wasting your money on that sickness. Do you ever experience that? Whenever you have money, a problem Besides sickness, a problem will just come from nowhere to take that money. And because of that, you cannot save. See, if you always experience that, you need to take it seriously. Because no matter the amount that you will get, it will always continue to happen. So all you need to do is not just to pray, God, give me, give me. No. That evil spirit that is stealing your money, pray against that evil spirit. It is evil spirit, the work of Lucifer, the devil. When they see money coming to you, they will push a big problem that will swallow that money. And whenever you are about to receive your blessing, something happens and that will take everything. That is one problem. There is another problem. You always work and work, and yet you don't receive breakthrough. At times, you are not lucky. You are not lucky. When you get there, they will tell you, ah, you would have come before, maybe two hours earlier. But it is too late. You are never on time to receive your blessing. Maybe you are looking for a job. Or whatever you are looking for. Whenever you get there. Or whenever you try to do that thing. It becomes either too late. Or too early. You try now. They will tell you it is too early. Come back later. You try again. Ah, it is too late. That is another devil. Write it down. Another problem. They are stopping you. Putting obstacles. To your success. At times, there are people who have this problem. This is not just like a financial affliction. When you have money, a problem comes. No. At times, there are people who are caused with extravagancy. Are you one of them? 
Once they see money, they want to spend, they want to waste, and they can never account for what they have done with that money. That is still a spell, leaking pockets, a spell from the devil to suck at your sources. When you get money, you spend all, you don't save, you don't invest. You cannot even like buy land or build a house. Even if the money is not up to that, save it. Or do something you can see. Something you can look back at. Okay, I use this money for this. But you cannot. You cannot save. You must find a way to spend this money unnecessarily. You scramble and squash this money. And waste this money. That is also a cause you need to fight against. Because if you cannot gather money, you cannot succeed. Try to pray on it. I'm telling you the truth. Try your best to pray on it. So this is what you are to do. Wake up at midnight barefooted. Do not put on shoes or slippers in your house. Midnight. And get a white handkerchief. Like this. White is light. And God is light. Devil is darkness. So raise up your white handkerchief like this and receive light. Push away darkness from your life. If you experience all of the things I have said, you always lack money. You always borrow. You don't even receive help. Even if you receive, you cannot save. Problem always come to steal your money. Do this to progress. Hold your white handkerchief like this. This handkerchief is light. Use this light to pursue away every darkness in your life. Bless your handkerchief. Heavenly Father, I pray on this handkerchief. I pray on this white towel. I pray that you rest your power upon this white towel. As I use this to clean my face, I clean off every spell, every evil deposit. I remove the hands of the enemy from my life in the name of Jesus. Let the power of cleansing fall upon this white towel. Clean off whatever is not working well in my life. As I clean my face, I remove every evil veil, stopping my growth, delaying my success, stealing my money. I destroy the power of the enemy from my life. Let this handkerchief receive your power, O oh Lord, to wipe out whatever is not working well in my life. Every evil mark upon my forehead, stealing my wealth, stealing my breakthrough. Every demonic animal in my life, in my body, in my household that pushes in problem to suck my wealth. Every leaking pocket spirit in my life, I wipe it off in the name of Jesus. When you are done, use the handkerchief to wipe your face, clean your face. I clean my face. I wipe out darkness from my face in the name of Jesus. Clean your face when you are done. When you are done, wash the handkerchief instantly. And when it is dry, put it under your pillow. Do this three times. But if I were you, get a lighter handkerchief. This is a towel. Get a lighter handkerchief that can dry off in a second. So that you can do this for three days and receive your blessing quickly. When you are done, you wash it. Before two hours, it is dry. Put it under your pillow. Leave it again there. Till the next midnight. Repeat the process. Use this to wipe your face. Remove every evil veil blocking you. When you have an evil veil blocking you, your enemies will always come to attack you. The devil will always steal your wet. If there is an evil mark on your head, your helpers cannot locate you. 
All those things, all those things that are happening to you, it is because you have not cleansed your face. When you cleanse your face, you will see light. You will leave darkness. The enemy, the devil, will no longer have power upon your life. Use this to wipe your face and keep it under your pillow after washing it. Do this for three days. Please, while you are washing your handkerchief, add salt to cleanse all of those things out. You put your soap, your detergent, and add a little pinch of salt. Just wash it anyhow and dry it. After three days, wash it finally and leave it in your Bible or keep it safe. In fact, every month, you need to do cleansing. Cleanse your face. Cleanse your forehead. Remove bad luck. Remove retrogression. That thing stopping your growth. Remove it so that you can progress and see. And see blessing. Do this. You will see that money will start staying in your hand. You will start experiencing breakthrough. You will not get there and they will tell you, eh, eh, it's too late. It will never be too late again. Or too early for you again. Anytime you get there, anytime you do it, it is the right time for your success. Say amen. Do this and you will experience a turnaround.